your unwavering support, uh, keeping me laughing and sane and, uh, you know, oftentimes full of beer. And, uh, and thank you for all the work that you guys have done um, for and door knocking and helping with this campaign. I want to thank uh, my dedicated campaign team and volunteers uh, for your hard work. Volunteers are the backbone of any campaign, and uh, my team was top notch. And uh, Ben Smith, who I think, I don't know if he's here yet or not, uh, he was coming up from downtown. He massively helped guide this ship through this election. Uh, all my door knockers, most of you, I think, are here. Um, you know, we took uh, lots of, uh, of steps. Uh, logging in the sun, uh, in the rain, and almost snow last Thursday up in Valentray. Um, to my best sign team in the world, Caleb and Adam and Cam, I don't know where you, where you are. Uh, boys, seriously. I think, you know, I, I just asked, um, actually, I asked your dad, and, <laughs> and he volunteered you to do this for me. So, I am grateful uh, for your support, guys, and uh, the job is almost done. Almost done. So, uh, I want to thank you so much. And uh, uh, to Katrina Robert, I don't know if Katrina's here. I know she was uh, going to try and make it, but she is um, uh, a very close friend and a graphic designer who works very closely with me, and uh, she makes everything look awesome. So. Uh, I'm thankful that Stouffville voters acknowledged my campaign, um, which was a campaign based on facts and truth, and uh, made it successful in this election. In a world where misinformation rules today, especially on social media, it gives me tremendous confidence that Stouffville can cut through the garbage and vote for truth. Yeah. We, ran, we ran a really clean campaign. Uh, we always took the high road. Uh, when it would have been really easy, uh, and if I'm honest, fun, uh, and rewarding for a slight moment to uh, to retaliate against the attacks, but we stayed true to who I am and who I want to be as a leader of our community. When they went low, we stayed high, and I am proud of that, and we'll do that every time. I'm extremely thankful for the opportunity to lead our municipality again. I'm thankful for the confidence that the voters have put in me and the responsibility is not lost on me. The last four years have been a true honor and privilege to serve uh, and I look forward to leading through the next term. I'm looking forward to working with my council colleagues, many of which are here tonight and have been returned to office. Rick and Richard, Hugo, and Morris is on his way down. Sue was here earlier. And uh, my congratulations to Keith in winning Ward 3. Uh, together, there's still a lot for us to do, and it feels like we just got started. So uh, I'm really excited to work with all of you again to the next term. Uh, I'm also looking forward to returning to the region, because one thing that I learned this term of council is the region is where a lot happens for us as a municipality, and, uh, and working closely with the chairman is something that I uh, am so proud of, and his confidence in me to lead his hometown uh, is all that I need to know uh, when I'm up there. Uh, when he's in that big chair with his chain, uh, I know that he's got my back and I know that he's got our backs because uh, he may live in Georgia now, but he is uh, still a through and through. So that is amazing. Um, and just to wrap up, I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge the backbone of my office for Eddie Pickering and Jennifer Hess. I am uh, indebted to both of you for keeping me organized and, uh, and, and looking good. Uh, you guys handle social media and a lot of emails that come in, and, uh, and I couldn't do it without you. So thank you. So lastly, I want to thank Vinny, uh, who's the owner of the site who's hosting this tonight. Right? Everything tonight really is improving, and so thank you for shutting down for us. Um, and uh, it is a pleasure to be here supporting you. So uh, thank you all for coming to celebrate this evening. Uh, and I'd like, if you have a glass, to raise one and let's toast uh, that the best is yet to come for the next four years in Stoneville. So you got a glass. 
Two souls. Thank you very much.